Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. Uh, this is Unité 19, Leçon N, and we will see together in this lesson Les verbes du troisième groupe, and more precisely, we'll see the verbs that are ending with ER, okay? And remember, they can be quite tricky. So that's the reason why we will take the time to have a look at them, okay? And so basically, in that case, so the verbs ending with ER, we'll see three categories. The first one, it will be what we call les verbes à un radical, okay? So we'll see that a bit later, but radical is the stem, the root, okay? So actually, these ones are quite easy to conjugate. The second group is les verbes à deux radicaux. So now it's getting uh, a bit difficult because it will mean that uh, these verbs will have will have actually two uh, stems or uh, roots if you want. So we'll, we'll see that, don't, don't worry. And then this third group, oh, it's a strange one here. But then actually we're talking about les verbes à trois radicaux. So in that case, we will see that, well, they, they are the, well, the most tricky one. But then don't worry, we'll manage to, 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 to uh, understand uh, how it works. Okay, so let's see now. And we'll start with the easy thing, <laughs> and it's better. And it's les verbes à un radical. So the verbs ending with ER. And in that case, I thought it might be interesting to take the verb ouvrir. Ouvrir is to open. Okay, so it's quite useful. And so the idea is that this final ER will be taken away to get the stem, the root. And so after that you will get j'ouvre, tu ouvres, il ouvre, elle ouvre, nous ouvrons, vous ouvrez, ils ouvrent, elles ouvrent. Okay, so it's clear that we've got this verb ouvrir. Okay, so ouvrir is the ending with ER. And as I told you here, you should take this ER away. Okay, so you'll get the form O-U-V-R. And then after that, you will add, so the endings, E for JE. So that's the reason why you get J'ouvre. For TU, you will add ES. And that's the reason why you will get TU ouvre. For il, elle, you will add e, ouvre. Okay, so basically you get the same phonetical form here. Okay, it's the same pronunciation, but you should write it ouvre, e, ouvre, e, s, ouvre, e. Okay, and then for nous, well, the classic ending, o, n, s, ouvrons, nous ouvrons, and then for vous, classic ending, e, z, vous ouvrez, il, elle, Classic ending, ENT, ils ouvrent, elles ouvrent. Okay, so it's actually not that difficult if you think about this little thing. So you should take this ER away and just add these endings. Okay, so we'll see now few verbs that will actually be conjugated the same way ouvrir is. And it's couvrir, découvrir. Cueillir, accueillir, recueillir, assaillir, souffrir, and few others. Okay? But these are the main ones. Um, couvrir, découvrir, cueillir, accueillir, recueillir, assaillir, and then souffrir. I don't know what there, why there is a little dot here, but then don't bother with this. Um, and of course, as uh, in most of the cases, I try to give you the translation and here it goes. So couvrir means to cover or to wrap. Découvrir, to discover. Cueillir, gather, pick. Accueillir, welcome. Recueillir, collect, gather. Assaillir, Assault, attack, and then souffrir, to suffer. Okay, so these verbs here will be conjugated the same way ouvrir is. And it's not that difficult. Okay, so now let's see 
the second group. So what we call les verbes à deux radicaux. And so we'll take partir. Partir is to leave. We use these verbs quite often. Okay, so basically it's quite important to see how to conjugate that at the present form. And so, as I said, the idea is that we will have two different roots, two different stems. Okay, and the first one will be PAR for the singular form. So we're talking about je, tu, il, and elle. So the singular form. Okay, and then for the plural form, we will have part. Okay, and we're talking about nous, vous, il, elle. So let's see how it will go. Okay, so the first form will be je pars. Okay, remember you put this S, you don't pronounce it. Je pars. Then you will get tu pars, il, elle pars. So the first thing that you get to keep in mind, you get this final S, final S, final T, but then you don't pronounce them. So phonetically, je pars, tu pars, il pars, elle pars. The same form. And then, if you think about what we saw here, we should have this first part here and then the endings after. And that's the reason why we will get nous partons. Okay, so you get this P A R T and then we put the ending O N S, the classic one. Vous partez, same way. And then obviously we'll have il. Part, elle, part. Okay, so the first part, P, A, R, T, and then the ending, E, N, T. Okay, and this is the tricky thing with this verb, partir. It's, it's just to remember that when you get the singular or the plural, well, basically, you will have different stems. Okay, so the first one, keep in mind that you, you will have this P, A, R, and then you will add the ending, S for je, S for tu, T for il, elle. Phonetically, je pars, tu pars, il part, elle part. Okay? And for the plural, as we saw, you just keep this P A R T and you add the endings O N S, E Z, E N T. And you will get nous partons, vous partez, ils partent, elles partent. Alright? So, let's see now. The verbs that will be conjugated like partir, sortir, dormir, servir, sentir, mentir, se repentir, and few others. Okay, so sortir, dormir, servir, sentir, mentir, se repentir. And of course, you would like to have the translation. Sortir means to go out. Dormir, sleep. Servir, serve or be used for. Sentir, smell, feel. Mentir, lie. Se repentir, express remorse. Okay, so keep in mind that these verbs will actually be conjugated like partir. Okay, and last but not least, uh, don't be afraid. So now we've got the, the, the last uh, group of verbs uh, ending with ER. And uh, these verbs will belong to the group of verb a trois radicaux. So obviously you understand now what I'm talking about and we'll see how it goes. And in that case, well, basically the idea with the venir, so I decided to take venir, venir is to come. Same thing, it's a quite used verb. So that's the reason why I think it's important to, important to see how it goes. And so the, the, well, the difficult thing with uh, this group of verbs is actually you will have one form for the singular. So we're talking here about je, tu, il, elle. Okay, so in that case, the stem, the root will be vient, v-i-e-n. Okay, 
Then we will have another root or stem for nous and vous at the plural form. And it will be V E N. Okay, so you can see that it's not the same. And last but not least, we'll have a third stem or root for il, elle at the plural form. And it will be vienne. And this is the tricky thing with uh, venir, and we'll see the, the other verbs uh, that will uh, be conjugated like it. It's You've got three, three forms here. So, vient for the singular, ven like that for the plural, but then it's only nous and vous, and then vienne for the plural, il, elle. So, let's see how it goes. Je viens, tu viens. Il vient, elle vient. Okay, so we do agree that we respect the rule. So you take this V U N and then you put it right here. And after that, you will put the ending. Okay, then think about what we saw. Nous and vous, so they're coming right now. We should use this V U N stem. So that's what we are going to do. Nous. The non. Okay, so you put back this V E N and after that you will put your ending O N S. Nous venons. Then you will get vous venez. Okay, and the last one, remember here for il, elle at the plural form, you will use this vien here and then you will add the ending E N T. Ils viennent, elles viennent. Okay, and so this is, well, normally what is difficult, uh, trying to remember how to conjugate them and especially keeping that fact in mind that for the singular you will put this V-I-E-N and then you will add S for je, S for tu, and T for il, elle. Okay, and phonetically it's, the, sorry, <laughs> it's the same form. Uh, so you get je viens, okay, tu viens, il vient, elle vient. And then it was quite fast. <laughs> but then for nous and vous, okay, you will put this V-E-N, all right, and you will add the ending O-N-S for nous, E-Z for vous, okay, and you get Nous venons, vous venez. And the last part, remember, well, basically for il, elle, you will put back this V, I, E, double N, and you will put the ending E, N, T, and you'll get ils viennent, elles viennent. And it can be quite tricky because if you think about that, especially phonetically, it's uh, it's challenging in a way because you get this nasal sound here. Je viens, okay, viens. Tu viens, well, the same. Il vient, elle vient. Then you will get this the nom, okay. Keep in mind that it's really a uh, in that case. The nom, the ne. And the last one, because you've got this double N here, you need to pronounce this e uh, like e, eh, e, eh. and that's the reason why you should pronounce it vienne, vienne. Okay, so il vienne, elle vienne. So just one more time to make it clear: je viens, tu viens, il vient, elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, ils viennent, elles viennent. And so let's see now the verbs that will actually be conjugated like venir, and we're talking about tenir, contenir, détenir, maintenir, obtenir, devenir, revenir, intervenir, se souvenir, and few others. Okay, so tenir, contenir, détenir, maintenir, obtenir, Devenir, revenir, intervenir, se souvenir. So let's see now the translations. Tenir, hold, keep. Contenir, contain. Détenir, possess, have. Maintenir, keep, maintain. Obtenir, 
obtain, get, devenir, become, revenir, come back, intervenir, intervene, se souvenir, remember.